Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my Mass Effect 2 playthrough. Oh, I am wearing this cloak because I am freezing cold in my room right now. <sighs> Keepers. Fascinating creatures. Jeanette? This recruits is a 20 kilo ferris slug. Oi, you guys interrupted more than. Whatever. I'm sorry, sir. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just the difference. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You think a Geth would stand out? Assumptions. You think it would? <laughs> be alert. Be safe. Geth don't have that type of infiltration unit. <laughs> Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate <laughs> you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. So cold. Bailey. <laughs> really. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. You can make someone squirm without physical. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the treasury. Spending yes. your dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Oaks. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. I will the do that after I best thing work through is that any equipment the marketplace. So. Money you need, you get. Uh. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little. This isn't a presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the keepers got things restored fast. 
Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the council. How can I get to the procedure? Uh, uh, oops. You need anything? Oops. Else? Yes? I, I want to ask. I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family and seeing your kids every six months. I joined c sex so I could stay in one place and put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Yeah, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with c sex there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. All right, man. Peace. There's those guys talking about fish. Space hamster. Always oh, gotta buy that. Space hamster. Not the fish though, because fish don't survive through Mass Spec 2 for me. I only buy fish in 3 when you have the automatic fish feeder. What can I do for you? I like this guy. This guy is awesome. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral veron, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? This well, guy is my favorite marketplace guy. The Shepherd? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepherd, in my store. I don't suppose I can convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. What can I do for you? I gotta... Uh, talk about the expeditions. We sell this is why I love them. Which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shatha for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. Is there anything? Oh, right. I need to talk to the dude about the fish in here. It's the only reason I'm going in here, though. What I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the city. Do you know if there are a fish in the lake? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind. Where's the restroom? Those are residents. The presidium's on Sabah. Independent from the water storage tanks in the woods. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese gift shop. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, oh, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Warian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lake? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind, where's the restroom? 
Those are reservoirs. The Presidium zone supply, independent from the water storage tanks and the wolves. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese gift shop. Where's that gift shop? The market downstairs from the bar. The Leia sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Thanks for your time. I think I asked him about the fish twice. Alright. Okay, time to leave this place and it's headache inducing music. Oh. You. Alright, let's do this. interviewed you two years ago when you first became a specter you presented your case very well on camera do you have a minute no thanks to you what so you can try to do another smear job on me now shepherd you may object to my methods but we're on the same side you're bad your news i just want to give your story it's due i can't wait to i run into you in the third game Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human I've lives. I've had enough of your disingenuous oh. assertions. <laughs> I guess I'm punching her this time, too. I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Checked in. Did we get it? Um, nice. Hold on. Wait. How far back does this take me? I can't do that. I can't do it this time. I have to wait to three. Three makes the most sense. You told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shenyang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so you owe them a lot more than accusing me of just throwing away human lives just because they were human. And just ignore the fact everyone else lost too. <sighs> Jeez. I hate her. Yeah, well, I don't really hate her, but I hate her. Hate what she does. What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Ugh. Sorry, you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all these talk about all damn day. This is too I thought I could give him this fish. I'm always find a terrain and beat the crap out of me. That always makes you feel Oh. That's if you lie and tell them that there are fish and I Give him the fish telling him that it's from the Presidium, even though it's not. That's right. I remember now. That's mean, though. And anyways, this let's deal with this. I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a quarian! I need you to stop 
and take a deep racist forest is racist me earth clan just because the vault clan need it was a poor choice of words sir i apologize you say you're falsely accused i was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the certa foundation he didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chip. You ran into each other outside the Certa Foundation. Is it possible the chip fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Alright. You say what do you have to say, Mr. Volus? When I left... Mr. Racist Wolf. She ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. They're not clanless. The others in their fleet are their clan. The planet does not make a clan. The people on the planet make the clan. Thank you very much, Mr. Vola, sir. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Certa Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. You're just as bad as the Volus. What Bailey wants to do with her? I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. So we'll do where... all, we all we can to resolve this. I think he left it with the Solaire and dude. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Her hand go into my- You liar. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Serona's applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. Thanks. <sighs> Jeez, people. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As Counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander! We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. 
We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reavers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race <sighs> starships, allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. And yet I repeatedly save so, you. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. The Solarian should be able to date that stuff. Shouldn't they? I mean, they had the technology. They should be able to know and figure it out. But would they tell anyone? Probably not. Because that would get rid of their advantage of knowing more than they do. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. You didn't have one we talking to you in you your head. That doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological Except that it predates the time that the Geth them. even As existed. Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. You know, because they do this, I am willing to give them the benefit of the doubt about the whole not believing me on the Reaper thing. I mean, they do have the concerns of the whole galaxy on their shoulders and they have to bring up all the possible points that could be brought up I don't know if it's necessary that they don't believe you just that they're unwilling to act on it without further proof because they have so many to concerns have to deal with Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help. Got a little close there, Garrish. You can don't sit in the back up a few the steps. I'll find some way to keep you have plenty of space. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus system. Anderson, we need to talk about... Oh, hello, Andrina. Shepard, what are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. 
Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. You're so arrogant, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. You're arrogant and fool yourself. Sorry I should step on your toes in the well, literal never sense. Gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is, so I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete, but estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave, and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. I better go. Understandable. Of course, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Yep, copy that, Captain. Alright. So I'm going to leave this episode off here. Next time, we will go off and recruit someone else. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to keep it real and spread the love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.